Hey, Space Watchers, and welcome to our Space Nugget of the Week, reporting from the heart of Europe and from one of the most breathtaking venues, the Vienna Town Hall in Vienna, Austria. If you haven't been there, Google it and get impressed by the architecture and the impressive beauty. Beneath, beneath its vaulted ceilings and golden chandeliers, the 19th SP Autumn Conference organized by the European Space Policy Institute gathers 382 ministers, heads of agencies, diplomats and industry leaders to debate one defining question. Can Europe truly become a space power? And what must change to make that happen? This year's theme, Europe as a space power directionality and priorities of strategic autonomy captured the mood of urgency, a sense that Europe's next decade in space will depend not just on technology, but on speed, cooperation and courage. ESPY's director Ludwig Möller set the tone and later closed the day with a powerful message. Europe is a space power, not as a slogan, but as an ambition we must realize together. He called for a shift from statements to substance and from ambitions to realization, urging Europe to embrace open autonomy, interoperability and collaboration, not isolation. With 16 nationalities represented, 35 from outside Europe, the world was clearly watching how Europe defines its strategic role in space. The early sessions didn't shy away from difficult truths. UK's MP George Freeman and Mario Kadastik challenged Europe to break its own habits. Power means serious funding and the courage to fail fast. They argued that Europe's future competitiveness hinges on dual-use innovation and industrial speed, not bureaucracy. In the Heads of Agencies dialogue, Germany's Walter Pelzer, Switzerland's Renato Caprun and Portugal's Ricardo Conde agreed the old divide between civil and defense space is gone. Caprun called for an open autonomy, a model that links sovereignty with cooperation. Conde highlighted Portugal's agility issue and launch licenses in 45 days and stressed partnerships with Africa and Latin America as part of a broader space diplomacy agenda. Meanwhile, Slovenia's Sabina Koleza reminded the audience that space power is also about climate resilience, education and societal benefit, and not just defense or industry. One of the day's most talked about sessions was the innovation panel featuring Shina Sullivan of Harvard Business School and Matthias Link of the Luxembourg Space Agency. O'Sullivan's words landed like a jolt. If we all believe ESA will be here forever, maybe that's a problem. She argued that Europe's lack of risk culture is the biggest barrier to innovation. The US multiplies new money. Europe protects old money. That's not how you win in space. Matthias Link offered a sharp contrast showing that Luxembourg's commercial first model has created agility and success. We can't outspend bigger nations, but we can outspeed them. Luxembourg's approach, fast decisions, clear business plans and early education is building a hands-on generation of engineers. From primary schools to parabolic flights, Luxembourg is literally teaching kids to build rockets, not just talk about them. Both agreed that for Europe to lead, it must cut bureaucracy, scale capital and reward those who build, not just regulate. A particular striking observation came from the Middle East countries session, where delegates spoke candidly about shifting alliances. In a world where US reliability is increasingly questioned, China is seen as an alternative partner, not necessarily out of alignment, but out of necessity. This message resonated deeply in the room. The geopolitical vacuum left by hesitation is being filled, and if Europe don't act decisively, others will. It was reminded that Europe's space power is as much about strategic credibility 
as it is about satellites or funding. The Vienna Town Hall itself became a symbol of Europe's ambitions, historic, open and visionary. It was more than a venue, it was a declaration that Europe's space debate has moved to the center of political gravity. Möller closed with energy and humility. Europe's space power will not be built in isolation, but through leadership by partnership. He closed the event and confirmed the Vienna Town Hall will host the conference again next year. So, my four takeaways from Vienna. First, Europe must act with speed and unity or risk becoming a spectator in the new space race. Second, innovation needs risk takers, not just regulators and committees. Third, space diplomacy is now central. Europe's partnership will define its power. Fourth, if the village is awake, now it must move. From the Volksaal of the Vienna Town Hall, this is my short review, where Europe's space ambitions meet reality and left with a challenge to finally act like a space power it aspires to be. With that, happy Halloween and space watch out.